We're back once again here on Cuatro Colinas, and this time we're going to be talking a bit about the new gun, the 6.5 Mortenson, which is included in this map. And uh, a lot of people were kind of suggesting it was going to be the Mosin killer. I can confirm it is not. 100% it's not going to kill the Mosin. And why? Well, simply because it's a different weapon class. Yeah. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the different weapon classes in the game. This is probably not going to make a lot of sense, but have a look here. The Mortensen bullet is a weapon class 2. You can see that down in the corner right here. Now, the Solokin is a weapon class 2 as well. Why is it not going to be the Solokin killer? Because the Mortensen is actually a 2.5 weapon class. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but some of the animals like, let's just say, roe deer and blacktail, those are animals in weapon class 2. Whereas, whitetail is actually in weapon class 2 and a half. And what does this mean? Yeah, that means you cannot use the 6.5 on blacktail or blackbuck or axis deer or any of those but you can use the Mosin on those. So to compare the weapons, really, you need to compare the 6.5 versus the 30 odd 6. Even though it says that the weapon class on the 30 odd 6 is 3. But you get integrity on the same animals with the 30 odd 6 as you do with the 6.5. Hope it makes sense. We have spreadsheets and such on the Discord. They're probably going to be updated as soon as this reserve goes live. So you know which weapon to use on what animal. But just quickly comparing the bullets of the 30 odd 6 and the Mortensen. Having a quick look at the penetration, it is the same. Both has 40 penetration. Now the 6.5 has an effective range out to 200. And the 30 odd 6 has an effective range out to 150. But the big giveaway for me is the expansion. The expansion of the 30 odd 6 is 11, where it's only 4 on the polymer tip bullets of the 6.5. Now, the effective range, I I don't want to say that it matters a lot, because usually, even I t I'm going to be taking a shot of this um, southeastern ibex over there. That seems to be... Uh, there's a four right there. That's probably the biggest one. If that one is going to give us a side, I'm going to see here. We're going to be pulling out the 30 odd 6 and just take a shot with that. Now, this should go down fairly easy. There we go. That was the 30 out 6. Now let's take a look at the 6.5 instead. We just saw how devastating the 30 out 6 is on the southeastern ibex. It is one of the smaller ibex species as well. Um, those are about the same range out as the other one, I think. Let's got some more going over there. That's a three, very easy. Doesn't seem like we have any monsters around, but uh, we might as well just uh, see if we can find anyone about the same range. I'll go with this one. They are a little bit closer, but we're going to be bringing it out. And I wanted you to pay attention to the rate of fire of the 6.5, because it is faster shooting. It has one more bullet in the magazine as well. And the rate of fire does not do a whole lot of a difference to me, because I still need a bit of time to get my aim back on track with the 30 uh, odd 6. I am good to go as soon as I have my aim back. So let's just see if we can take out a few of these. Can we get prone here, just to make it a little bit easier? Um, just get up here and then take a shot at them. Zeroing at 150, so we need to go a little bit high, but um, let's try to see if we can get a few of these as well. Oh, we did hit a few of them. But I don't know. The big giveaway for me is that the 30 out 6 has 7 more expansion, and you saw that I had no issue dropping the Ibex out on the, what was it, 220 meters? Even though the effective range is only 30, or is only 150 on the 30 out 6. So maybe it will come down to personal preference. Maybe it will come down to having the extra bullet in the mag. I don't know. 
but I love the sound of my 30 odd six. And I don't think that I am going to be changing it, to be quite honest. Um, it's a nice gun, going to give them that and such, but all in all, the 30 odd six is more than powerful enough. I haven't tested it with the soft points yet. But I can't hit anything. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to make sure that you guys actually knew that it is not the Solokin versus the 6.5. It's the 30 odd 6 versus the 6.5. Got some Southeastern Ibex trying to <sighs> run me over right here, and it actually succeeded. Now, let's just have a look at this. Both of them are more than capable of taking down the Ibex. Don't get me wrong. But I just wanted to make sure that you at least knew it's not the Solokin you're going to be competing with. Even the Solokin is working magnificent on the Ibex. So, yeah, I don't know. Is the 6.5 going to make it into my loadouts? Probably not. I don't think so. But... This is like my first hand-on experience with it myself. Of course, I need you guys to actually tell me what you think when you get the access to this map, the uh, December 10th. And um, also, the price of this new map is going to be 7.99. It has been confirmed by Expansive Worlds, so um, that's what you kind of need to set aside here in the busy Christmas times. And uh, all in all, I do believe the map is. Definitely gonna be one that I'm gonna be playing a lot. I love the Ibex. I really like the Mouflon as well. I haven't shot a lot of them, but they just look so amazing. I'm gonna post a uh, awesome picture on my Instagram where we had one just bedded down on... Is that animals? It is. Can we take that? Ah, oh, they're running away. These don't seem to be too big, but it's just bedded down on a rock. And it just looks amazing. But let's just pick these up. These were the ones that we shot with the 30 odd 6. Ooh, hit this one twice. There is different uh, fur colors of the common variation. So you're going to find a lot. Okay, yeah, of course, no integrity for two shots with the 30 odd 6. But um, let's have a go here. There you go. 30 odd 6, left lung, liver, right lung, 227 meters with the 30 odd 6. Let me know, guys, if you... Oh, that's not a bad one. Let's just taxidermize that thing. And uh, first look at our southeastern Spanish Ibex as well. If you, right now, were to decide, are you going to be using the 30 odd 6 or the 6.5? Thank you so very much for watching.